Hello everybody, welcome to Reviewing Redesigns, a show that only exists because I like alliteration. Today we're going to be reviewing some uh, redesigns of Power Girl. Now, ever since the age of the monkeys, female superhero designs have been a little sexualized and not everybody likes it today. So there have been several attempts to redesign them, make it better, or in sometimes they might make into making it worse. Now, a lot of characters you could argue get it more or others, but apparently the one that seems to get the most flag for it is Power Girl. And if you don't know, she has a uh, a little hole in her costume in a uh, a very enlarged area, and a lot of people don't like it. So we're gonna take a look at some people's solutions. Now, the first one up here is gonna be uh, maybe familiar to some of you. This is the New 52 redesign by I don't know who. I don't care to look up. Now, as we can see, they appear to have two lines on what looks to be a cape that droops overhead, which means I can only imagine what happens when she lands really fast, and the cape right falls off of them if it's not attached to a suit already. The overly bulky necklaces, in a way, seem to hurt very much if they take them off or happen to punch too hard where it slings up their arm. They appear to have grown to the age of 43 with those cheekbones. Overall, the redesign, I wouldn't say it's very good. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. After all, the 90s are still canon, to pre-crisis at least. But, eh, we're not really looking on good territory here. Next, we have this one by T.S. Branch on DeviantArt. This one I kind of like. It does get rid of the boob window, but I don't have an inherent problem with that. It, while it's something that I do feel like is pretty iconic to the character, to where if you want to make a redesign of her, you kind of have to put it if you want to have any staying power. But, you know, I can choose. But this one seems pretty cool. I like the over of blue and yellow. I think those two colors can work good together. I also like how blue is the main color. I think Power Girl always fit the blue. Not much else to it. It's a pretty inoffensive, good design. The shoulder thing's a little weird. It's not a traditional shoulder, a shoulder pad, I guess you could call it. But it sort of just connects on the there like a very clingy X. The two black lines on her chest is a little weird. It makes me think like they're pointing to something. I don't know what. I don't know why it's armored. Once again, Power Girl is Earth 2's Supergirl, which means... I guess we're facing the Superman armor problem again, maybe? Anyways, I'd say it's a pretty good redesign, not the best, and probably wouldn't have a lot of staying power if it was in the comics. Now, I couldn't hunt down the post for this image, but I was able to find it. And it did say it was originally posted on Tumblr. Now, you see, the Tumblr is usually made up, if you don't know, of feminists, which isn't inherently wrong. What's wrong is that a lot of people seem to take it a little too far there, and they sort of kind of act like it's the worst thing ever. So this leads to a lot of designs, female superheroes being redesigned, purely out of the fact that costumes are really sexualized, and they sort of end up in these designs that don't exactly look like superheroes. They look like just very flashy armor people would wear to beat up criminals. When Schwala does something like a describe a superhero costume, it doesn't really feel super anymore. You know, if you t if you make Superman's costume a leather jacket that's bright blue and just slap the symbol on it, sure, it's still kind of a really flashy costume, but it's not a superhero costume in a way. This character seems a little irritated to be alive. I think I would too if there was a period in time where it was just normal to think that you were the grandchild of an Atlantean wizard. I think the cape's a little too big. I never thought that Kara zor was fitting to have that large of a cape. Uh, the boots seem incredibly uncomfortable. For This design was built around being effective. I feel like if they wanted it to be truly effective, they might not have to, what appears to be two belts. In pouches, after all, what is she holding? Uh, she is a Kryptonian, which means I think your laser vision kind of has everything down for you. What have we learned today? Nothing! 
That's right, folks. That's not what we're here to do. We're, you're here to watch me talk about some designs and very arbitrarily. I'll see you all tomorrow, maybe next week, maybe next year, because I haven't done... This is also first one of 2019. I hope you all have a good day. Maybe throw your computer onto a spike that clicks the subscribe button, and see you later.